In February 2024, the world's attention turned to Russia as President Vladimir Putin declared that his country was on the brink of developing a revolutionary cancer vaccine. The announcement was both ambitious and timely, coming at a moment when global cancer rates remain high and new treatment breakthroughs are urgently needed. For Russia, it was also a bold statement of intent, a signal that the nation's scientific community was ready to take its place on the front lines of biomedical innovation. Today, that vision is entering a decisive new phase. In August 2025, Russia's renowned Gamaleya National Research Center for Epidemiology and Microbiology, the same institution behind the Sputnik V COVID-19 vaccine, confirmed that it will soon begin human clinical trials of the world's first personalized mRNA-based cancer vaccine. This isn't just an incremental step forward. It's a leap into a future where cancer treatment could be tailored to each patient's unique genetic makeup. Clinical trials are scheduled to commence between September and October 2025, pending regulatory approval expected later this summer. This marks a significant milestone in Russia's ongoing quest to harness advanced technology for improved healthcare outcomes. At the heart of this effort is a powerful combination. The precision of mRNA technology, the analytical depth of artificial intelligence, and the expertise of leading Russian oncology institutions. The Gamaleya Center is collaborating with the Herzen Moscow Oncology Research Institute and the NN Blokin National Medical Research Center, two of Russia's most respected cancer research entities. Together, they are pioneering a new model of immunotherapy, starting with melanoma, a particularly aggressive form of skin cancer that has proven responsive to immune-based treatments in the past. Development of this vaccine began in earnest in mid-2022, building upon Russia's experience with mRNA and viral vector platforms, initially honed during the rapid development of the Sputnik V vaccine, researchers set out to create something truly unique. Unlike standard vaccines designed to protect large populations against a single pathogen, this new cancer vaccine is made to order, customized for each patient based on the specific mutations found in their tumor. The process begins with the sequencing of a patient's tumor tissue. Scientists look for neoantigens, mutated proteins that exist only in the cancer cells and not in healthy ones. These neoantigens are essentially the signature of the patient's cancer, and they are the key to unlocking a highly targeted immune response. Advanced AI algorithms, including cutting-edge neural networks, are then deployed to sift through the genetic data, identify the most promising neoantigen targets, and design a bespoke mRNA blueprint. Once formulated, this individualized mRNA vaccine is injected into the patient. The mRNA acts like a set of instructions, telling the body's own cells to produce the same unique proteins found in the patient's tumor. This, in turn, alerts the immune system to the presence of cancer cells, priming specialized cytotoxic lymphocytes, also known as killer T cells, to seek out and destroy them. The hope is that this response will not only attack the primary tumor, but also hunt down metastatic cells that may have spread elsewhere in the body, all while sparing healthy tissue. One of the most remarkable aspects of this approach is the speed at which it can now be accomplished. Thanks to the integration of AI, the analysis of tumor data and generation of a vaccine template can be completed in as little as 30 to 60 minutes. The subsequent synthesis of the personalized mRNA vaccine is usually finished within a week. For patients with aggressive cancers, where every day counts, this rapid turnaround could be life-changing. The personalized nature of the vaccine also means that each dose is unique. While this rules out mass production and poses significant logistical challenges, it is precisely this level of customization that gives the therapy its power, especially for patients with late-stage cancer or tumors that have resisted conventional treatments. The initial clinical trials, set to launch in the autumn of 2025, will focus on melanoma, a disease that tends to respond well to immune system-based therapies. Regulatory approval for these trials is anticipated before they begin, reflecting both the urgency of the need and the confidence of Russian health authorities in the underlying science. Still, details about the size and structure of the trial remain limited, and the global medical community is watching with a mixture of hope and caution.
Early preclinical studies have shown promising results. Laboratory tests and animal models suggest the vaccine can suppress tumor growth and even prevent metastasis. However, experts emphasize that preclinical success does not always translate to efficacy in humans. The transition to clinical trials is a crucial step, and rigorous data will be required to demonstrate both safety and effectiveness. If successful, the Gamaleya vaccine could place Russia shoulder to shoulder with leading global biotech firms such as Moderna and BioNTech, both of which are also pursuing personalized mRNA cancer therapies. The competition in this field is intense, but the potential rewards are enormous, not just for the companies and nations involved, but for cancer patients worldwide. Yet the challenges ahead are formidable. The high cost of individualized vaccine production, the complexity of coordinating sequencing, design, and synthesis for each patient, and the need for robust clinical data all stand as significant hurdles. Moreover, questions remain about accessibility Will this therapy be available only to a select few, or can it be scaled to reach patients on a broader scale? For now, cautious optimism prevails. The announcement has energized oncologists and researchers not only in Russia, but around the world, sparking discussions about the future of cancer treatment and the role of personalized medicine in transforming patient outcomes. As the world awaits the results of these groundbreaking clinical trials, the implications are clear. We stand on the threshold of a new era in oncology, where cancer treatment is not one size fits all, but is tailored to the individual. One patient, one tumor, one personalized solution at a time. The coming months and years will reveal whether this approach can fulfill its promise and bring hope to millions facing cancer across the globe.